off. Brenda, happy Mother's Day to you, a day Thank that you. only comes around once a year. What does Mother's Day mean to you? I mean, it's a personal day that, you know, I share with my kids, and as every other mother does. I was reminded, um, it's been several years ago, Dale, he forgot to call me on Mother's Day, or he didn't call me. He was out doing some other good stuff. Good stuff. And um, Kelly got on him, I think, and he said, oh, hell, every day's Mother's Day. So two or three times a year, I quote that back to him. <laughs> and really, he's right, because anything I need and want, I always have. You know, it's nice to get that little call, Happy Mother's Day, though. Sounds like you just say, hey, every day is Mother's Day. What, what do <laughs> you think of the day? Excuse. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I like, you know, I love Mother's Day because uh, I think it really kind of keeps keeps you in check as a son, uh, especially. Um, it seems like the daughters don't have much of a problem with it, but the sons trying to appreciate their moms and just giving them giving them a call and letting them know how much you care about them. I'm I'm real lucky and I get to spend a lot of time with my mom during the year, and uh, so if I forget to call her on Mother's Day, I guess I, I let it slide. She lets it slide. Yeah. Bit, but, I've been better about here lately. I know you were quite a handful as a child. Were there some things that maybe you did as a kid that you know your mom is still upset about? I can't really remember. You may remember some times when I really ticked you off, but I don't think I thought I was the good one. You you were really. You were very content to she said I'm in just there, stay at home, do nothing. Like as soon as she brought me home from the hospital, I don't think I cried. No, you once. were very you were the two of y'all were total opposite. <laughs> I mean, really, the only thing I can think about is that you were a little lazy. Yeah. But, I mean, that ain't changed. So, I mean, you know, I've just learned to accept that. Yeah. <laughs> still has a little laziness. Still, yeah, only you'll still let the that. cereal bowls pile up and, you know, First don't want to go to bed. Get. But, um... Don't want to get up. Don't want to get up. <laughs> How proud are you of Dale uh, as a son and all that he's accomplished so far? Because clearly he's already successful. I'm very proud of him. Um, I wouldn't change a thing about him. I think sometimes he doesn't realize how proud everybody is of him. But, I mean, I, I, I wouldn't change a thing. Cool. Do, do you have to listen to your mom sometimes say that for you to realize that? Uh, not really. She's really, um, she tells me all the time. There's two kinds of parents. There's ones that tell you how, much, how they feel about you all the time. And then there's the kind that don't tell you enough or as much as you'd like. And she's definitely one of the ones that lets you know. Anytime the job gets stressful or things aren't going my way or she just knows that I'm not in a good mood, she'll she'll tell me something that, that I need to hear, you know, that makes it uh, makes you understand where you're at and what's going on around you and what everybody's perception is on things. Cause She's on the other side of the fence, and she gets a different view of what I'm dealing with. And my perception of what I think things are and hers is going to be different every time. So, you know, I kind of make a problem maybe bigger than it really is, and she's there to make it small. What's left in Dale's life that you want him to accomplish? I just want him to be happy. And, and like I said, I want him, I want the day to come when he can really be comfortable in everything that he's accomplished and enjoy what he's amassed and and you know every day is fun that's what i want for him shoot everybody wants that yeah right. I, I pretty much have that every day i get up every day i'm happy yeah it took you a while to get there did <laughs> <laughs> i mean i'm just i don't know i got a ways to go if I hadn't got up every day happy, I don't know how to got through some of the stuff I did, do you? <laughs> and we thank Miss Brenda and Dale Jr. for opening up. I think that's one of my favorite parts of the real deal is that we get to see the human side of these people away from the media, away from the popularity. They're just good old boys, Dale Earnhardt Jr. openly talking in front of his mom about their relationship. And another thing that got edited out, I'll tell you, race fans, she did mention that she would like Dale Jr. to have some grandkids. Now, she wanted some grandkids other than from Miss Kelly Earnhardt, but nothing in the future for Dale Jr. as of right now.